Hello, everyone, and welcome to Prophecy Files Briefing. We're glad that you've joined us today. Hope that you'll share this out on your social media. Get the word out about the greatest event, next event, on the calendar of God. That is the imminent return of Jesus Christ in the rapture of the church. It is also one of the most assaulted, mocked, scorned, and scoffed doctrine of the Word of God, especially in these last days. So in the past few days, uh, the world has heard all about the solar eclipse and all that has taken place, from people flying in planes to getting married to the Dallas Zoo animals going a little bit crazy. All of these things were taking place yesterday as millions were watching the solar eclipse. This past weekend, I dealt with the signs in the sun, the moon, and the stars. And some people will discount whether or not God is speaking through the sun, moon, and stars. I won't go into the details of it. You can watch that broadcast online on the archives. But this is the greatest concern of mine today. and That is that believers do not give up the hope of the promise of Jesus' return. With all of the rhetoric, with all of the scoffing, with all that is taking place today to try to undermine the hope of Jesus Christ's return, we as believers, those of you who are Christians and believe in the second coming of Jesus Christ and the return, the pre-tribulation return of Jesus in the rapture of the church, which is verified over and over again in the Word of God, I just want to encourage you today to stay true and fast toward the promise. The Bible says in 2 Peter chapter 3, verses 3 through 8, it deals with this subject, but I want to zero in uh, on this particular phrase. Where is the promise of His coming? Uh, in the last days, the Bible said that scoffers would come, asking that question, saying, where is the promise of His coming? For since our fathers fell asleep, all things continue as they are. And this is the important thing. All things are not continuing just as they are. The changes and the rapid uh, increase of all of the things that Jesus spoke of in Matthew 24 are happening on a greater scale than they ever have been before. And certainly the technology and all that is happening brings more of it to our attention. There's no doubt. But we hear the wars and rumors of wars. We see the pestilence and the famine and all of that Jesus spoke of. And with that pounding on people's faith today as believers and the outside darkness of this world, its encroachment of Satan and the very spirit of Antichrist that is rising, it can attack the hope of the return of Jesus Christ. So the question is, uh, Pastor, what am I supposed to do? Uh, I'm asking, where is the promise of his coming? Because I've heard people say that Jesus is coming again and these signs taking place and some that are completely discounting the signs altogether. Well, let me just say this to you. The promise of his coming can be found throughout the Old Testament. In fact, there's more than 500 prophecies concerning the second coming of Jesus Christ found in the Old Testament. One out of every 25 verses in the New Testament speaks of the second coming of Jesus Christ, the return of the Lord. One quarter of the entirety of the Bible deals with the prophetic signs that are coming and the prophecy concerning Jesus' return. So where's the promise of his coming? It's found in the Old Testament uh, over and over again. It's also found in all four of the Gospels. Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John record the promise of his coming. You find that in Matthew 16, Mark 13, Luke 19, John 14, all of these and many others, it's found there in the Gospels. Where's the promise of his coming? It's found in the book of Acts, the very first chapter. You can find it being recorded there as the, the angels declare to those that were watching Jesus rise from the earth that this same Jesus shall come in like manner. The promise of his coming is found in the book of Acts, without a doubt. It's also found in the epistles uh, that were written by uh, Paul, James, Peter, John, and Jude. All of them record the promise of Jesus coming his return that would take place, and it gives uh, quite details, uh, even in all of this that I'm speaking of, the details of his coming, how he's going to come, where he's going to come, all of these things. The rapture lets us know beyond the shadow of any doubt that he's coming in the clouds. And then in the second coming, he will literally put his foot down on Mount Olive in Jerusalem. These are recorded, these facts are recorded in the word of God. Where's the promise of his coming? It's found in the Apocalypse, the book of Revelation. 
over and over again, describing Revelation 1, Revelation 22, Revelation 12, Revelation 20. All of these can be found uh, recording the prophecy of the promise of the Lord's return. Where's the promise of his return? Well, if you've been in church recently and you have received uh, the sacrament communion, then you've been reminded right there in 1 Corinthians 11 how that Jesus Christ promised that he would return just like he said. And if that isn't enough, where's the promise of his coming? Well, through the power of the Holy Spirit living inside of the life of the believer, he is the daily witness to us for every true believer that Jesus Christ is coming again. I remind you on this briefing frequently, and you hear it uh, from the pulpit here at Pace Assembly. It's not a widely preached uh, message about the return of Jesus Christ because some people have lost the hope. But the Bible says to those that are looking, we will see the blessed hope of the Lord's return, and it could take place even today. The only question is, are you ready? I want to encourage you today, get yourself and your family prepared for the next great event on the calendar of God. Without a doubt, it is the rapture of the church. Thank you for joining us today. Share this out. And I want to encourage you, just this past weekend, we recorded and preached two messages that I believe will be of interest to you concerning Bible prophecy. One, signs in the heavens. It was the Sunday morning message, and you won't want to miss it. And all of the details concerning how that the Lord uses the sun, moon, and stars. And then Sunday night, the Prophecy Files update that we bring to you on a frequent basis this past weekend on the Sunday night. It will be available at the archives at paceassembly.org. I encourage you to go there and see what events are pointing toward the imminent return of Jesus Christ. Thank you for joining us today. We'll look forward to being back with you again. Till then, remember Jesus Christ is coming soon.